channel everyone black and white bills 423 today is going to be exciting i've got this right here my little suction pro or suction cup for my gopro and today's going to be extremely exciting i am redoing the whole video the day i'm supposed to put it out due to as soon as i lift this garage you'll see that today's going to be a fun and exciting day As you all can tell, obviously, today is going to be an awesome cold start video. So I'm going to go ahead and start her up and see how she sounds. Stick the GoPro to the truck and go have a little bit of fun. I wish I could have done this later in the day, but, well, I can probably go have some fun later today, but for the cold start, it needed to be done. For cold start purposes, I had to do this in the morning, and I don't know if it was bright enough for you all to be able to see, but that was a cop going by in a Humvee. <laughs> I know to a lot of people up north, this is not much snow, but here in the mountains, it actually is. <laughs> As you can see right now, I'm being immature and just trying not to use four-wheel drive. <laughs> and we got a snowplow truck. We might actually have a white Christmas. It's a little early to say, but we might have a white Christmas in Tennessee for the first time in like, since 94. <laughs> if anyone wants to know the best thing about snow, my gym right there, boom only one person that's actually showed up for this morning and there we go man that's really nice and well lit for some donuts mm. guys this is very embarrassing with however my four-wheel drives messed up with whatever electronics are jacked up I can't even get up my driveway I'm stuck stuck in my own driveway and obviously right before selling the place I hit the freaking grass Ugh. it's going he's gonna bail he's gonna bail 
<laughs> to start off the channel today, guys, we have an issue. Here we go. Phone will no longer connect. Don't make fun of the name of the phone, but it won't connect. It's been sitting like this for five minutes now. And it just won't connect. It shows that the phone is connected overall, but it won't actually connect any of the media of it. So it's connected without having the benefits of being connected. So, yep. Luckily, I have a warranty on all the electronics on this truck and the powertrain. But anyways, we're about to pull into TSI here in just a second to add a, I guess it's not actually go fast parts, but it's something for up to 200 or 200, uh, 2000 horsepower. So here in a second, you'll see what some of the new parts are for the truck now that's lowered down and it's gonna be a, more of a family race truck. A couple minutes later, yep, still broken. I uh, already got to take it back to Ford. But we are now here, so let's go see if they've got the parts. The old Buster still sitting on the rim. Project needs to start immediately. Boom. There we go. Man, these things are beefy. Oh, God. I used to think I had a strong tail, picked up those. There we go, these are supposedly able to hold 2,000 horsepower. With all the joints and everything that's in, that's what they're rated for. Well, that's what I'm told, I'm not the master. But those will be on the truck here shortly. They're gonna stay black for right now, but I will get them powder coated white later just to make them pop, you know, a little bit, make it look a little bit better for when the drag setup is on it. There she goes. Sorry guys, I know some people aren't the biggest fan, but I definitely think it looks a lot better with that setup. And now off to the boss. The boss is here to get me. There's the boss. There it is. Oh, by the way, I was gonna make a full video for it, but it's extremely simple. I don't think I need a full video. It's for sale. You want it, hit me up on Instagram, but please don't just waste my time and 600 people message me, but it's going for sale. She's ready for something else. Wait. Wait, are both my bosses here? Do I have both my bosses? This is Tara. That's Tara? This isn't about Tara, it's uh, her oh. oh goodness. <laughs> hey, power to you, sweetheart. Uh, it, that's appropriate, right? Yeah. You're not gonna really read it anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Uh-oh, wonder why we're here, guys. you have to wait for a future video for the outcome of this place. Here's a real sighting for y'all. I'm still dressed up all nice from work. <laughs> here we go, what do they look like? What do they look like? I got too late last night to be able to see. <sighs> Boom, there they are. I need to get rid of that little wire right there. It's where I used to have the lights on the lift kit. There they are. That is the newest upgrade for the truck, granted, it is nowhere near 2,000 horsepower, and it will take a while. Actually, it will never be 2,000 horsepower, I'll just be honest, guys. But I actually have to jump in the truck because we are looking at extra vehicles for replacing that right now. So I have to go hit up my buddy Mike and see where we are. And then there's a couple other little things i got to show you in this video whenever we do go check out this vehicle. And this is when I have to love my wife. Showing up at different vehicles left and right. Obviously, this isn't the truck. It's actually test driving a vehicle for her and the possible new home that we put an offer in on last night. So I need to go grab them, make sure this fits in the driveway, which you'll understand once I get there what I mean by that. As you can tell, the truck is made into the garage and the wire underneath, I believe, was actually just the wire that was running to the old lift kit that was on there because it had LEDs built into it. I believe that's what that wire is. I'll double check later. Don't feel like messing with it tonight. I've been out with the family all day sledding and everything and playing in the snow. So I put the truck on hold. But anyways, my wife doesn't have the exam tomorrow due to all the snow. My daughter doesn't have school either. So I'm just going to take the Jeep to work. So everything will work out just fine. But anyways... Had a fun time, it. the four wheel drive still works and everything, just the uh, uh, advanced track keeps going a little haywire, but the four wheel drive was still working and everything. And obviously I wasn't recording it when I curb popped it when I actually did go a little out of control. But anyways guys, uh, fun in the snow, and then 
somewhere in this video I'm throwing in there the final outcome of what the upgrade was. The track bars are supposed to hold 2,000 horsepower. Granted, this truck will never be at 2,000 horsepower. I'll go ahead and tell you, just better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Stopping by for the first time, please subscribe. You all have a great day.